Hi, we will continue with the cap for subject 1.2. So for 1.2, number system and representation. So you have to explain data representation in computer bit by convert between hexadecimal and decimal convert between hexadecimal and binary so before that you have to know data representation so how computers represent data data and instruction can be represented electronically by using two unique binary digit one and zero each bit is combined together to represent a character. So if you see, what computer only can recognize these two unique binary digits? Okay, if you see, computer recognize only two discrete states on and off. It is because computers are electronic device powered by electricity. If you see the difference with bit and byte, okay, bit is the smallest unit of the data the computer can process. The number system has two unit digit, one on or zero pulse. So it represents an electrical state, state on and off. Byte, a group of eight bits. So remember, one byte, eight bits. Okay, so represent a single character such as digit, uppercase and lowercase, letter of alphabet, a punctuation mark, or other keyboard symbol. So this is the different with bit and byte. So this is an example past the question. Okay. State three benefit of using binary digit to represent data in computers. Three marks. So remember the keyword, you have to underline the keyword, three benefits using binary digit. To represent data in computer. So first you can say faster execution. Why faster execution? Because binary digit okay, is a machine language. Computer can only understand binary digit. So we need to have uh, a new translator to translate to machine language. So it's directly can execute the instruction. Less amount of space or less memory will use because 1 and 0 and it provides simply safety. So before we continue with uh, second part, conversion. So you have to know what is number system. Set of numbers for representing numberless. So we have three number system. The first one, binary. Second, decimal. The third hexadecimal. So we see the conversion. So the first one you have to know to convert from decimal to binary. Base 10 to base 2. You have to divide by 2. Remember. And find the reminder. So the first question. Convert 23 base 10. So base 10 to binary. So remember you have to divide by 2. Find the remainder. So you place it here 23. So you divide by 2. 11. So the remainder is 1. So divide by 2. 5. The remainder is 1. Divide by 2. Remainder is 1. Divide by 2. Remainder is 0. Divide by 2. 0 reminder is 1. So read the reminder 
from the below. Okay, and then you write the answer. 10111 base 2. Base 2 vajit lata. Okay. Number 2, convert 156 base 10 to binary. Okay. Sama saja, jalan kerja. 156, you divide by 2. So, 78, reminder, 0. Okay, 78 divided by 2, 39. 0, reminder. 39 divided by 2, 19. Reminder, 1. 19 divided by 2, 9. Reminder 1, 9 divided by 2, 4, reminder 1, 4, okay, 4 divided by 2, 2, reminder 0, okay, 2 divided by 2, 1, reminder 0, so 1 divided by 2, 0, reminder 1, okay, so Read the reminder from the below. The answer one zero zero one 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 zero zero base two. Okay, so anda perlu ingat decimal two binary mesti bahagi dengan dua and find the reminder. Okay, second you have to convert from binary to decimal binary. To a decimal. Okay, so the first step is split all the binary digits, each of it. Must be asking can that binary digit. So, so the first step you split, you stable. Okay, step two, you write the value. So two power of zero one, two power of one two, two power of two four, two power of three. 8 to power of 16. Okay, then total up. So, 1 time with 1. Okay, plus 2 times with 0. Plus 4 times with 1. Okay, plus with 8. Times with 1 plus 16 times with 1. Okay, step 3. So 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1, you get 29. Remember, write the base then. Okay. Number 3, you have to know to convert decimal to hexadecimal. So, you have to divide by base 16. So remember this one is a decimal to hexadecimal. So you have to divide by 16 and find the reminder. Before we do the conversion, so you have to know hexadecimal symbol and decimal equivalent. Okay, so if you see from uh, starting from 0 until 9, the value for decimal same. But start from 10 to 50, the hexadecimal symbol will change. So for 10, it's equal to A. For 11, it's equal to B. 12, equal to C. 13, equal to D. 14, equal to E. 15, equal to F. So please remember. Convert 77 to hexadecimal. So 77 divided by 16, you will get 4, remainder 30. So 4 divided by 16, 0, remainder 4. Okay, then read the remainder from the below. So 4, this one, 30. So if you see 30 equal with D. Nilai 13 adalah D. So, tukarkan dia dulu. D. So, 4D base 6. Okay. So, remember, you must read 
the remainder as the hexadecimal number. So example, this is the first question for 18, uh, 19. Okay. So base 10, you have to convert for hexadecimal. So you can see 64206 divided by 16, you will get 4012 reminder 40. 4012 divided by 16, 254 reminder 12. Okay. Then uh, 250 divided by 16. 15, uh, 15 reminder 10. So 15 divided uh, divide by 16, 0 reminder 15. Okay, read this reminder from the below. So 15, F, 10, A, 12, C, 14. Okay, so F, A, C, E. Base sixteen. Okay. So remember, you must must uh, split each of the hexadecimal numbers. So like this, we have convert four D base sixteen to decimal. So four D you split. Okay, four D. Second, you have to convert this hexadecimal to decimal value. So D, 13, F, omega, so 4. Okay. Step 3. So this one, 16 power of 0, 1. 16 power of 1, 16. Okay. After that, you must uh, times. So 13 times with 1, you will get 13. 4 times with 16, you will get 64. In the last step, you must total up 64 plus with 30. So 77 base. Okay, remember, from hexadecimal to decimal. Okay, so this is the Example, this is the past year questions. B1D. B1D. So, you see, uh, I have to convert to decimal. So, the first step, split all the hexadecimal number. So, B1D. Split. Okay. So, that's the first step. Second, you write, convert to the value. Decimal value, so D13, 1 remain, B11. Okay, okay, 16 power of 0, so the value is 1. 16 power of 1, 16. Okay, then we have 16 power of 2, uh, 2, 5, and 6. So 2, 5, 6. Times with 11, 2, 8, 1, 6. So it's 1, 16, 13. So we total up everything. We'll get 2, 8, 4, 5 base 10. Okay, number 5, you have to convert from binary to hexadecimal. So if you see this one in a binary form, you have to convert to hexadecimal. Remember, you have to divide all these in one group. So first step, okay, write the binary uh, value. So one one zero one one one. Then second step, you have to divide four bits in one group. So one two three four. So we divide. So this one balance is here. Okay. Third, you write the value here so one uh this one two power of zero lah. so two power of zero two power of one two power of two two power of three okay 
So uh, this one, two power of starting start uh, start again two power of zero, two power of one. So if you see uh two power of zero one two four eight one two. Okay, then you plus so one 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 times it two one times it four. So this one becomes zero more right? yeah. So four plus two plus one seven. One you will get uh one 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 times two two. So two plus with one three. So this one three seven. Just write here three seven base sixteen. Okay. Next, convert from hexadecimal to binary. Hexadecimal to binary. So we have F3C, base 16 to binary. So this one, under perlu split can each of the hexadecimal number. Use table. Okay. So this one, F3C. So second, you split. Okay, then you convert to decimal value. So C, 12, P, uh, 3, remain, F, 15. Okay. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. So, to get 12, so 8 plus with 4. Okay, you will get 12. So, this one, 1, 1. So this one, Zero zero. So to get three, so one will pass with two, three. So one, one. Okay, this one zero zero because we don't use this value. The next fifteen. So one plus with two plus with four plus with eight. So you get fifteen. So all the numbers you have use. So one 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 one. Then you write again the answer. Okay, so one 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 zero zero one 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 zero zero. So, so this is the answer. Make sure you write the base two. Okay, this is the example past question to convert hexadecimal to binary. So remember, first step you must split each of the hexadecimal numbers. So split first. Okay. So second, place the decimal value. This one D thirteen. Okay, F is fifteen. This one remain one lah. Okay. So one two four eight one two four eight one two four eight. Okay, so to get 13, so you must plus uh, 8, 4, 8, 1. So you'll get 13, lah. so 1, 1, 0, 1. This one, 15, so 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, so 1, 1, 1, 1, 15. So this one, only 1, so 1, lah. okay. So, write the answer. So 0, 0, 0, 1. One 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 zero one base two, or you can write one 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 zero one base two. So this is the example. Ask the question.